It was appropriate that we started our G20 presidency uh, by convening the voice of the Global South Summit. It was very clear to us that the Global South, uh, in addition to bearing the, uh, the consequences of structural inequity, inequities, was plagued by, by the impact of mercantilism and economic concentration in collaboration with all our G20 members, that we were able to refocus the G20 on the urgent, the pressing needs of the Global South. Let me begin by expressing my most sincere appreciation to all of you for joining us uh, this evening. Your presence means a lot to us. It also expresses the sentiments that you feel for India and underlines the importance of South-South cooperation. We meet just a few weeks after the New Delhi G20 summit, a summit which took place on the theme of One Earth, One Family, One Future. Now, it was a challenging summit. It was actually a challenging presidency. And it was challenging because uh, we were confronting a very sharp east-west polarization as well as a very deep north-south divide. But we were very determined as the presidency of the G20 to make sure that this organization on which uh, the world really had put so much hope that this was able to get back to its core agenda, and its core agenda was of global growth and development. So it was appropriate that we started our G20 presidency uh, by convening the voice of the Global South Summit, an exercise which involved 125 nations of the South of which most of you, in some capacity, participated. Now, during the course of that exercise and uh, the deliberations which took place through the various ministerial tracks and engagement groups, it was very clear to us that the Global South, uh, in addition to bearing the, uh, the consequences of structural inequity, inequities, and historical burdens was plagued by, by the impact of mercantilism and economic concentration, was suffering from the devastating consequences of the COVID, and was beset by conflict, tensions, and disputes which have stressed and distorted the international economy. With each passing day, in fact, it has become clearer to us that today geopolitical calculations and geopolitical contests are impacting very basic requirements of many countries, including their affordable access to food, to fertilizers, and to energy. It was therefore for us a particularly uh, onerous responsibility to make sure that in collaboration with all our G20 members, that we were able to refocus the G20 on the urgent, the pressing needs of the Global South. And this was reflected, uh, to my mind, in eight key outcomes of the New Delhi G20 Summit. The Action Plan for Sustainable Development Goals, the reform of international financial institutions, a green development pact, the high principles for life, the lifestyle for environment initiative, an understanding on debt management, a consensus on women-led development, an acceptance of digital public infrastructure, and uh, an agreement to undertake global skills mapping. We do believe 
that uh, the New Delhi summit of the G20 has uh, in many ways laid the foundation uh, for the international community really uh, to look at its development prospects, uh, hopefully with greater optimism. Uh, certainly uh, in our expectation with more resources uh, and uh, that the, uh, the decade ahead uh, would allow us really to overcome the challenges that we have all experienced over the last few days, last few years. So uh, let me conclude, therefore, once again, by emphasizing to you that while we are, of course, the G20 uh, president till the end of this year, both before the G20 presidency and certainly after it, we will remain very much a partner, a contributor, a collaborator, in our own way, perhaps an inspiration uh, to others on how to address developmental uh, challenges. Our experiences uh, and uh, our achievements we place before you in a, in a uh, spirit really of sharing. Uh, we know that there may be aspects of it which you may find useful. Uh, from as, as uh, Ambassador Kamboj uh, mentioned that uh, we, we are today active in almost 80 countries around the world. Uh, and uh, what I can say is that uh, when it has come to South-South uh, cooperation, uh, we have endeavored to walk the talk. My uh, remarks on this subject would, of course, not be complete without my underlining what I believe were, was one of the uh, really important outcomes of the G20, which was the uh, membership uh, of the African Union. Uh, and uh, certainly, uh, it is our hope that that message uh, would resonate not just in the G20, but beyond as well. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.